Here at KSMO Radio, it's time for us to sit down with our friends from the Dent County Extension, usually just Dent County Extension, but we've expanded that out to the entire extension. We have Rachel Hopkins with us. Hey, Rachel. Hey, how are you? I'm doing really good. How about yourself? Good, good. Just waiting for this rain to move in and enjoying the 60-degree temperatures. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have had very, very mild temperatures, but very dry conditions that we've talked about before we came on the air. We really do need the rain, don't we? We we do. I If we don't get some serious moisture, things could look bad going into spring. Um, it's always nice to have a dry winter, but the mud is a blessing if you've got cattle or pasture or livestock out there. Well, Rachel, you're a field specialist in ag business, right? Correct. Okay, so and you're out of the Potosi office, correct? <laughs> Correct. I live in southern Crawford County in Davisville, but I work out of Potosi in Washington County. Yeah, Davisville is just a stone throw from Salem. Come on. Yep. Yeah, yep. Not, not too, far at all. Not far at all. Well, uh, we of course, our last Wednesday of the month, we usually have somebody on from the extension. We talk about some different things going on, and we have some uh, different conferences and meetings coming up. And I know one is going to be next week. It seems unbelievable that March is already upon us, but uh, after the opening of trout season, I guess spring is here, isn't it? It's getting closer with each passing day. All right. So let's talk about our, our first conference coming up next. It's Friday, isn't it? March 3rd, I believe, right? Correct. Friday, March 3rd. Okay. It and that's going to go. I'm sorry. Go doors, ahead. Doors open at 12 p.m. with the speaking starts at 1. And this is the Central Missouri Forge and Beef Conference. Okay. This will be up in Vienna at the Knights of Columbus Hall, right there on the main drag. And if anyone has livestock, or produces forages, this is a great event to attend. There is a $10 registration fee to get through the door, and that pays for your meal. So if you want to go out to eat that night, this would be something to go to. Here's some presentations during the day. It's wrapped up with a great meal for 10 bucks a head. Well, we all know that with COVID, a lot of these meetings were either Zoom and, you know, you, you lose a little bit of that personal touch. But also when there's vendors and things of that nature, people get a chance to talk to other farmers and ranchers and they get more input. And with the vendors there, and especially with the newer products coming out, Rachel, I think this would be an outstanding opportunity for people to get up to date on what's going on. It really is. You get to talk with other folks across the area. A lot of times it's a big social gathering. You mm -hmm. see familiar faces that you may not have seen all year. You get to see the vendors, talk to them, hear what's going on. Our, um, our sponsors and such, they're great. So if you're needing local products, um, maybe local services, look at these vendors. They're helping support this. And we just ask that people register by Friday, this Friday, uh, February 24th. And they can register one of two ways. They can register online and go to muextension.com, and then in the search bar, put in Central Missouri Forge and Beef Conference. Okay. Google also works to do that. And then they can register that way. Remember, still pay $10 at the door. Or you can call the Mary's County Soil and Water District at 573-422-3342 to register by phone. Okay, and there's there's a lot of different things that will be going on at this Forge and Beef Conference. I, I know you, you'll talk about, obviously, the beef market. That makes sense. Um, but there's other things that are going to be addressed there as well, right? Correct. So one presentation is Weeds, Friend or Foe. Uh, there's going to be a Livestock Market Outlook. Okay. Grazing your or extending your grazing. So as inputs as hay as feed has become more ex expensive, how do you extend your grazing through the year? Uh, vaccination programs. Craig Payne is going to be discussing that. And then the uh, producer panel is over interspecies grazing. So maybe you have thought about adding some hair sheep or some goats or whatever to your operation. The producer panel, they will have done this, and so they're going to talk about their experiences with interspecies grazing. Now, you're in ag business, and we all know we're in it to make a dollar, <laughs> right? So with these operations that people have today, I mean, it's getting harder and harder to make money in the farming and, and ranching business, isn't it? It is. Uh, even though cattle prices have increased, 
uh, tremendously here over the past few months. I mean, week by week, they've just been climbing here. The input costs behind it, they're going up as well. So you're not really gaining anything in the long run. The input costs are going right up with the cattle costs. So it's are you guys? Are you, so at at the conference, are you going to be discussing some some maybe some different income strategies, or you know, with op, obviously with the opportunity to talk to some vendors, there might be some opportunities to maybe find out more about some other products that might be available that can help save money. Exactly. Uh, the big one will be the Market Outlook by Wesley Tucker. Wesley's from over around Oliver. He's a cattle producer, and he is great at kind of diving into these cattle markets and what you can expect going forward. Okay, very good. So that will be next Friday. And what time, mm-hmm. does, that, what time does that start uh, again, Rachel? So the doors open at noon with the speaking starting at 1.00. And it will wrap up with dinner at 6.30 p.m. Wow, okay, very good. A full day, but a lot of information to be had. So I highly recommend if uh, you would like to attend that to, again, either go online and sign up that way at extension.missouri.edu. And then you can go right to the Central Missouri Forge and Beef Conference or call the Marys County Soil and Water District. Tell me if I have this number right, 573-422-3342. Is that correct? Yep, that is correct. Okay, very good. And there's a ten dollar fee, but that's going to pay for your dinner. So ten dollars for dinner and a and a conference. Oh, Rachel, that's a pretty good price. You where else can you go? You can't go to McDonald's and get yourself a dinner for ten bucks. <laughs> Not talk about beef. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, maybe where is the beef, but more than anything else. But uh, that's a different that's a different fast food restaurant. We're not even going to go there. All right, but we do have uh, other conferences coming up. Another one, and I think people don't pay enough attention to this, is preparing for farm succession planning. Correct. So this one is going to be out there at Wardak Research Farm and Cook Station, just a hop, skip, and a jump from Salem or okay. Rolla, wherever your listeners are at. Uh, and this one will be Monday, March 6th, so the following Monday. So the following and this one. So you're, you're turning around and coming right back and doing it again, aren't you? Correct. So <laughs> this one, if you've got a farm, maybe just some ground, maybe your grandparents do, maybe your parents do, and you're wondering how, this, how you can start broaching the subject of setting your place up for succession. Mm -hmm. And succession is more than just passing on the ground. It's really passing on the business. Right. Uh, So how can you get that set up? Different strategies to do it. How do you work through communication issues? Because that's a large part of why it doesn't get done is communication. So there's going to be several different aspects talked about, some different tools to help people. And this r- will run in the evening from 6 to 8.30 out there at Word Act. Okay. This is a totally free program, so bring as many folks as you'd like out of your family to hear the information. And you can register online again at, uh, un- at Extension at the website you gave, okay. or you can register by calling the Washington County uh, Extension Office at 573-438-2671. You know, it, it succession, just like you should in, in life with your own family, uh, farm succession, and there, there a lot of things going on in the farm, and a lot of people may not know where you get your supplies, uh, who you deal with, who your vendors are. Uh, this is very important because if you want that farm to then move on in, in, in the family or as a business or both, uh, mm-hmm. you, really do, you do need to be prepared because nobody knows what tomorrow brings, do they? No, and that's another tool that we'll be discussing. This is the short-term operating plan. Mm -hmm. And this plan, this tool is great for you to get your stuff put down in. When bills are due, um, vendors that you use, passwords to stuff, bank accounts, savings deposits, all kinds of stuff that way if something happened to you, uh, something even unexpected, it is there, it is together. And your family isn't searching around in a time of crisis trying to cobble stuff together. I see. Um, so that's one tool that will be discussed. And then it'll, we'll also discuss uh, farm decision making, improving communication, navigating roles within the business. This is a huge one that people really don't think about. But how do you navigate those farm business roles? That's true. And then ultimately forming a plan to transition ownership and management. 
Uh, so I, I, I think I remember reading about this, and it is free, but there's a limited amount of seats, correct? Or Yeah, there there's probably 20 to 30 seats out, 20 seats out there at Wordax. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it's, this space isn't unlimited, but if you would like to attend, get online and register or call the Washington County Extension Office. Okay. Now, if they can't make it to this one, there have been a couple of these I've seen online, correct? But yes, they have been online. The downfall to that is you, lo- you lose a lot of that interpersonal communication. Oh, absolutely. But if you can't attend and you really need to know, this is a great way to at least get some background to it, right? Correct, and if you'd like to have another one, um, I will be having more of these in the region. So make sure you get a hold of me via email or give me a phone call, and that way I can get a list down. If you would like to attend a different one, maybe you can't attend this one, the online one isn't your forte. That way you can be notified whenever another one happens in the area. Yeah, these are very important for people, and and, and really appreciate uh, the extension putting these on because it is key. And I don't I don't think it's at the forefront of most people's thinking as everyday activities, but it's so important when you have to make that decision when something happens in the family, you really need to know what direction you're going to go. Kurt, yeah. Getting these details worked out beforehand is much easier than during the crisis. Absolutely. Okay. So we have one more program you're going to talk about, right? Correct. That is the Cattle Grading Workshop. This is Friday, March 17th, and it'll be at the South Central Regional Stockyards in Vienna. Okay. So this one is, if you've got cattle and you are always wondered, uh, how they grade cattle, how they put them in different grades and such. Tony Hancock will be there, and he'll be speaking on feeder calf and cow grades. And then myself, I'll be discussing uh, different techniques to market calves, tools producers can use to help forecast prices, and then also how to add some value to cull cows uh, that ultimately put more money back in your pocket. Okay, very good. And uh, is there a meal with this one? Is there a charge? There, there, there is not a meal. Um, you got to stop at a gas station and grab yourself something or somewhere <laughs> along the way beforehand. But this one is Friday, March 17th. Okay. It is another totally free program. So bring your kids. Maybe you've got a son or daughter that's interested. Uh, bring whoever. You can register online once again for this. Or you can call the Washington County Extension Office at 573-438-2671. Well, it sounds like a busy month of March, isn't it? It is. <laughs> and uh, I, are there, I'm sure there's going to be some other workshops that are going to be coming up here in the near future as well. As, and when we talk to other extension specialists, I'm sure they'll be passing those on to you. Uh, is there anything in the future that you know of that you wanted to just touch on a little bit to let people know it's coming? Yep. So the other item I'd like to just to bring to people's atten- attention is there will be a hay school out there at Wordak uh, Research Farm, and it will be April 7th. April 7th. Okay. So get that down on your calendar. If you're interested in attending the Hay School, it's Friday, April 7th, out at Word Act. We're just now starting to get the agenda up, registration going and so forth. Registration, that link hasn't gone live, uh, but whenever it's out, be looking for more information on it. I'm sure it'll be up very shortly so people can register, but as long as we've planted the seed, Rachel, uh, we'll let it uh, We'll let it. Uh, grow into a nice uh, hay school out there in April. That's a, that's a great place to have a hay school, isn't it? It, it really is. Fort Act has wonderful facilities, a great meeting place, a good location, and it's kind of a central location. A little, It's a little bit out there, but it's always nice to go somewhere different. Well, we always appreciate our friends from the Extension uh, keeping us up to date and offering these programs. And most of them, as you, we already talked about, they're free so people can attend. It doesn't cost them anything. And even the ones that cost you $10 for a meal, that, that's still a bargain, isn't it? It is. It really is. 
Well, we really do appreciate all that our extension people do, and, and, and you especially, and you you attend a lot of these things, and we know you're in the area all the time, and we really appreciate all the work that you have done and uh, really look forward to these uh, different conferences and workshops coming up. Yep, and if anyone has any questions, don't be afraid to give me a buzz. Uh, my email is hopkinsrm at umsystem.edu. Okay. You can contact the Denton County Extension Office for it uh, if you need to get a hold of me, or you can give me a call at the Washington County Extension Office. Okay, and that's 4382671. Correct. All right. Rachel, thank you very much. We really appreciate uh, your your information today, and I hope a lot of people take advantage of these opportunities, especially the one for the uh farm succession planning i really think that's a key and i unfortunately i think don't think enough people take it seriously but they really should you might think hey i'm only 45 or 50 you know things happen don't they if they happen all the time and if you would like to see your business passed on your farming business it's never too early to start working on that I have to agree with you. I have to agree. Rachel, thanks again for being our guest today. Rachel Hopkins, the field specialist in ag business coming out of, of Potosi. Are you at work right now or are you still at home? Nope, I'm at work. I'm actually in Washington County today. There you go. So you actually are at your home base today, huh? I am. <laughs> well, very good. Again, thank you for the phone call, Rachel, and we appreciate you. And, and take care. And we look forward to these great conferences and workshops coming up. Thanks again. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Rachel. Bye-bye. Bye. At KSMO Radio, that's Rachel Hopkins, the field specialist of Ag Business News, uh, agri agribusiness, I should say, from the Dent County and Extension, serving our area. She is the field specialist for that. But she is out of the Potosi office. Again, that number, if you'd like to get in touch with Rachel, 438 2671. That's 438 2671. And again, the succession will be on March the 6th from 6 to 8.30 at the Wardak Farm in Cook Station. And the other program, the Central Missouri Forge and Beef Conference, will be on March the 3rd. That's Friday from 1 to 6 in Vienna at the Knights of Columbus Hall. Now, that one, there is a $10 fee. That $10 fee pays for your dinner, which will be held immediately after the Forge and Beef Conference. But there's going to be a lot of vendors there. going to be a lot of people there. There's going to be a lot of presenters there to give you a lot of information. So, again, you can register online. You can always go to Extension. Dot Missouri dot edu. You can type in events and it'll give you a whole bunch of them, or you can just type in Central Missouri Forage and it will bring up this specific one. So we've got a lot of different things going on. The South Central uh, Regional Stockyards will have that cattle grazing workshop as well, and that'll be on March 17th. So less than a month, you've got three great workshops and conferences that you can attend and uh, get, get some very, very vital information for your farming operation. So thanks again to Rachel for calling in on that. We really appreciate our friends from the extension. Keep it right here at KSMO Radio. We are going to have for you right here at your information source of the Ozarks. Um, when we do uh, Come Right Back, we're going to have uh, probably a song, and then we're going to go right into our AP News, maybe two songs in there. We'll sneak them in. And then we'll have for you uh, AP and then statewide news from the Missouri Net Civic Happenings, as well as some weather info and then a lot of music today. No sports for you today. And a little bit later on uh, this afternoon at 1 o'clock, Dr. Oots will be uh, pre providing his program on pet health, and we'll be uh, having that on. That'll be at 1 o'clock this afternoon here on KSMO Radio. Cabinetry is a custom cabinet shop that takes pride in crafting beautiful hardwood cabinetry pieces for our excellent clientele. For 40 years, their village has been specializing in providing an experience for those looking to remodel or fill their new home with stunning cabinetry. Their hope is to spread kindness every step of the way, making their clients' experience the very best. Check them out on Facebook or call Village Gallery at 729-2722. They look forward to being your cabinet makers.